Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From an enormous dinosaur popsicle to an unfortunate puppy dog, here are 12 animals found frozen in ice. Number 12. Ancient Toothed Cat Wild cats have been found in freezing habitats for thousands of years, maybe even longer. Late last year, news outlets around the world reported on the discovery of an Ice Age saber-toothed cat skull in Canada's Yukon Territory. Found in the permafrost, the 50,000-year-old skull was so well preserved that scientists were even able to extract a DNA sample. They identified the species as a scimitar-toothed cat, a little studied variation of the saber-toothed cat. Further genetic analysis indicates that the powerfully built animal had exceptionally good eyesight and hunted during the day, chasing down prey until their target was too exhausted to continue running. The study's authors wrote that the scimitar-toothed cat may have lived in small groups and might have been more social than some modern cats that are known for being solitary, like snow leopards, clouded leopards, and cheetahs. A paleogeneticist who examined the skull told the BBC that the species is extremely rare in the fossil record and that the scarcity of its bones might result from the cats living outside permafrost regions where most Ice Age fossils are found. Number 11. Fighting Moose Brad Webster and his friend were hunting in Alaska when they discovered two partially frozen bull moose in a frozen swamp with their antlers intertwined. The prevailing theory about what happened to them is that they were probably fighting over territory or a female, when one suffered a broken neck or was knocked unconscious, taking the other moose down with it. Unfortunately, they both lost the fight. A few days later, Webster returned to the site with a few more friends and tried removing the moose carcasses from the ice, which proved practically impossible. Instead, as a memento of the bizarre discovery, they removed the moose heads and brought them back into town. Webster stated plans to bleach the skulls and put the moose on display at the Covenant Bible Camp where he teaches, with their antlers still intertwined. What would you do if you found a discovery like this? Would you report it, or keep it, or hang it on the wall? Let me know in the comments below! Number 10. Infections This isn't an animal per se, but it's still scary. A teacher on an expedition to the Arctic Circle in early 2018 came face to face with bacteria that pose a very real threat to his health. Zach Peterson was helping archaeologists excavate an 800-year-old log cabin in the Arctic Circle on the northern coast of Alaska. Towards the end of the trip, he noticed a red spot on his leg. He said that at first it was the size of a dime, but after a few days it grew to the size of a softball. As he continued to monitor the spot, the skin infection rapidly spread, leading him to believe that he had picked up something preserved in the permafrost that had been stirred up when they were working. At the time, the team was uncovering frozen seals left behind by hunters at the site. The animals began to thaw out and decompose, and because Zach was, as he says, kneeling in defrosted marine mammal goo, he was treated for a seal finger infection. The 800-year-old bacteria had gotten him too, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Many are afraid that there are tons of diseases on frozen ancient humans and animals that have been so well preserved that when they thaw out, they might just jump onto us. This includes smallpox, anthrax, and who knows what other illnesses ancient people may have had. Number 9. Antarctic Dinosaur Paleontologists working on a mountain in Antarctica found what they described as an ice fossil popsicle containing the remains of an enormous, previously unknown dinosaur. It was a type of sauropodomorph, which was the biggest thing on the block back then. This guy is estimated to be 22 feet long. They had long necks and were herbivores, living in the early Jurassic era some 190 million years ago. This latest find was named Glacialosaurus hammeri, in honor of fossil hunter professor William Hammer. That's pretty cool to have a dinosaur named after you. What would you call your discovery? It's like a cool Latin name and then your last name. Let me know in the comments! The strange thing is that this massive G hammeri was encased in a popsicle made out of rock as well as ice. A dinosaur popsicle. Who knew? The continent of Antarctica used to be part of what's called the Jurassic Freeway. It refers to a time when territories such as Africa and Australia were joined together and dinos could simply walk between them. It all ended when the land broke up and the climate changed. Antarctica used to be a whole lot warmer and had the perfect climate for flora and fauna to prosper, so who knows what else is under the ice, waiting to be discovered. Number 8. Ancient Wolf Puppy 
gold miner Neil Lovelace discovered a rather unexpected kind of treasure in 2016 when he used a water cannon to blast a permafrost wall open in Canada's Yukon Territory. He found an exceptionally preserved prehistoric wolf puppy. Recognizing its potential scientific value, he sprang into action and placed the ancient animal in a freezer while he contacted paleontologists and waited for them to arrive. Nicknamed Zur, which means wolf in the dialect of a local First Nations tribe, the female specimen died at just seven weeks old, around 57,000 years ago. She is reportedly the oldest and most complete wolf mummy ever found. Discoveries like this are especially rare outside Siberia, according to a study describing the animal's discovery. In Siberia, preservation like this is fairly common because of the way the permafrost preserves things there, which is way less common in the Yukon, Alaska, and other parts of North America. Zor lived during a time in the region when glaciers temporarily retreated, replacing frigid grasslands with milder woodlands. A DNA analysis revealed that she came from a genetically distinct group of wolves that no longer exist in the area, who were related to both Alaskan and Eurasian populations. The pup met her untimely demise when her den collapsed. However tragic, the quick burial helped keep her remarkably well-preserved. Now scientists are debating on whether or not they should try bringing this species back to life. What do you think? Would you want to see a 57,000-year-old wolf pup? Let me know in the comments below. And now for number 7, but first want to say a big thank you to Ubaldo Myers and Jenna Mateo. Thanks so much for watching and supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like these. Number 7. Alligators When record-breaking cold temperatures swept across the U.S., many animals tragically died because they were not biologically equipped to handle the unusual conditions. But some species lucked out, including alligators. The cold-blooded creatures look very much dead in images that appeared on social media, which show their snouts poking through the ice in several wildlife parks, from South Carolina to Oklahoma. When temperatures drop dangerously low, alligators enter a hibernation-like state called brumation, or icing. Unlike warm-blooded animals that get hypothermia, as the alligators' metabolic rates plummet, they become lethargic and sort of freeze in place to conserve energy. The animals stick their snouts above water to ensure that they will continue to breathe through brief periods of freezing weather. Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation employee David Arbor said that the gators won't freeze if the water stays liquid. Their snouts are just cartilage, so freezing doesn't hurt their snouts they can still move and are aware of things. Number 6. Turkish Donkeys A herd of donkeys were left outside in a rural village called Siverik in southeastern Turkey. This region was experiencing some of the harshest winter temperatures in the country. Luckily for them, a news crew noticed their predicament and filmed the ice-covered herd, some of which had long, thick icicles attached to their fur. A rescue team then came to their aid, and some of the poor little guys had to be carried because they couldn't walk. Five of the unfortunate animals survived. They were taken to the animal shelter where they were fed and checked by a vet. The rescue team is on the lookout for other animals abandoned in frozen conditions. Number 5. Kilimanjaro Leopard In 1926, a Lutheran pastor was out for a walk on the slopes of Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, Africa. He was 18,500 feet up the volcano, so he must have been in pretty good shape. While up in the cold and high elevation, he encountered the frozen remains of one of nature's true predators, a leopard. The pastor reported that he saw the dead remains of a goat as well, so the leopard must have been chasing it before meeting his icy fate. From that point on, the area was given the nickname of Leopard Point. The story must have inspired author Ernest Hemingway, who told a similar tale in his short story, The Snows of Kilimanjaro, from 1936. The pastor returned in 1927 to see how his frozen friend was doing and decided to keep the big cat's ear as a memento. Number 4. Frogs To survive the brutal winters around the world, numerous frog species rely on what scientists call Mother Nature's antifreeze. In order to survive, the frogs will actually freeze themselves and they will enter a hibernation-like state called estivation. Ice crystals form inside their bodies and under their skin, while their blood glucose spikes in response to the cold, causing the creatures to freeze but remain alive, despite appearing dead. Their heart rate stops and there is no muscle movement, there is no measurable brain activity, and there is no breathing, AmeriCorps naturalist and research coordinator Jimmy Weibler explained in an interview. This dormant state is life-saving for certain frogs, who are unable to tolerate freezing conditions in their normal state of being. 
by sparing them from tissue damage that would otherwise kill them. When spring arrives and temperatures warm, estivating frogs simply thaw out and resume life as usual, as if they were simply on pause for an extended period. By then, it's usually mating season, putting finding a partner at the top of the creature's to-do list. Researchers believe that the spike in blood sugar that helps frogs safely freeze and thaw could potentially be useful in treating diabetes. Number 3. Hippopotamus with changing global temperatures, animals living in typically warm places sometimes have to face extreme blasts of winter cold. Just like the alligators from the Swamp Park in North Carolina, hippos at zoos and at parks also have to face the cold, but can easily die from hypothermia. As you can see here, this poor hippo didn't make it. Hippos are native to sub-Saharan Africa and are usually more worried about staying cool than keeping warm. That's why they are always in the water and the mud. But if they are at a park or at a zoo hit by a cold front, there is nothing they can do. If the water freezes, they will definitely freeze too. Hypothermia is a severe condition where the body temperature drops after being in the cold for a very long time. The body can't produce enough heat and then begins to direct the blood flow to the most vital organs. But if the body temperature keeps falling, the organs will begin to fail and the animal will die. Number two. A live dog. Not all of the animals discovered frozen in Siberia are ancient specimens from thousands of years ago. Earlier this year, a stray dog got stuck in ice amid beyond freezing temperatures that hit as low as minus 54 degrees Celsius, that's minus 65.2 degrees Fahrenheit, in the village of Churapcha. It was the harshest winter that Siberia's Yakutia region had experienced in a decade. That's saying a lot. A hospital worker heard a creature desperately crying for help and found the little dog clinging to life by a thread. The quick-thinking hero alerted other locals who rushed to the canine's aid and dug her out of the ice using crowbars. Once they freed the dog, they took her inside to warm her up and feed her. A local veterinarian who bandaged the dog discovered a tag in her ear, identifying her as a stray who was neutered, vaccinated and released at an earlier point in time. Thankfully, she was not seriously injured or frostbitten, but turning her back out into the cold was certainly not an option. The kind-hearted woman who discovered the dog went the extra mile with her good deeds and decided to adopt the pup. Now that she has a loving forever home, she will never have to worry about being stranded in the life-threatening cold again. Number 1. Woolly Rhino Last August, a local resident discovered the shockingly well-preserved remains of a juvenile woolly rhinoceros peeking out from the thawing permafrost by a river in Siberia's Saka Republic. It looked pretty good for having been there thousands of years. Its teeth, horn, limbs, some of its intestines and other internal organs, fat, tissues and fur were still intact, giving scientists an unprecedented opportunity to study the extinct species. The poor rhino was left where it was even after it was discovered, as scientists waited for the formation of seasonal ice roads so they could actually take it to a research facility. Life in these cold areas is no joke. It was between three and four years old when it died, most likely by drowning, somewhere between 20,000 and 50,000 years ago. When it was found, the scientists noticed wear marks on the rhino's horn, suggesting that it used it to gather food. Its thick, short undercoat indicates that it passed away during summer and that the species adapted to the cold at a young age. Scientists are conducting a radiocarbon analysis to determine the precise age of the remains, and they are hoping to extract a DNA sample so that they can conduct a genetic analysis and maybe, just maybe, bring the species back to life. Thanks for watching! Have you ever found anything in the ice or the snow? What's the coldest place you've ever been to? Let me know in the comments below and remember to hit that subscribe button before you go. See you later. Bye.